an incredible outpouring of community support for a family who lost a baby girl to a raging fire. News 4's Lori Schultz has that story. Sweet Nova Heitman turned one years old last weekend. Her tragic death continues to tug at the heart of Western New York as her family remains overwhelmed with grief, knowing they just celebrated her birthday. And that was just cake and ice cream for a one-year-old. Just still can't believe it. I just... Overwhelm, overwhelms me. Daniel and Patty Heitman lost their baby on Thursday. Nova was trapped in her burning Shepherd Street home in Buffalo. Her parents and several neighbors tried to rescue her before firefighters arrived. A neighbor captured this video on her cell, showing the sense of urgency at the smoky scene. I tried to get back in twice, and the first time I didn't get in there at all. Nova's dad told us yesterday how he frantically tried again. Put uh, my shirt all over my face, tried to get back in there, and it was already too, it was fully engulfed. Nova's mom and three-year-old sister escaped. Her six-year-old sister was at school. For now, the family will stay with friends and family, but has since lost everything. Last night, you could see them wipe away tears when Reverend Darius Pridgen gave them more than $7,000. The family doesn't belong to the church, but their circumstance moved members who came forward in droves. The family of this young man did not ask us to do anything. They are not members of this church. I don't know if they ever, if they even know where True Bethel is. Parishioners raised a thousand dollars in less than five minutes, bringing a small measure of relief to a heartbroken father who lost his baby and home for his family. That's basically all I'm worried about right now is my kids. I just want my kids to have some clothes right now. And I spoke with Noah's grandfather from Delaware this morning, who is now assisting the family here in Buffalo. He says they're all extremely touched by the overwhelming support. A benefit fund in Nova's name and clothing donation drop-off site will be set up this afternoon. And, of course, I'll bring you all those details tonight at 5. Live, Lori Schultz, News 4.